In this lecture, we are going to show that click problem is NP complete. Okay. So this is our first problem that we are trying to show it is NP complete. We have to prove this and to prove any problem to be NP complete first show that the problem belongs to NP that given a solution to it, I can verify if it is correct in polynomial time. Then take a NP complete problem already known and reduce it to the click problem. Okay. So this is the second step. So first let's see what is a click problem. So this is a graph with six vertices and it has a maximal click of size four because node B, C, E and F, they are all connected to each other. So this part of the graph is complete subgraph. Okay. So each node is connected to each other. Okay. So this is a four click. Now the thing is, you have to prove that okay this problem is NP complete. So of course if you are given a click I give you that okay these four vertices then using the adjacency matrices you can easily for each of the vertex you can see that okay it's connected with others. So you can solve this in very fine polynomial time whether it's a really a click. So this is in NP this is fine. Now we will reduce the 3 CNF problem which is already known to be NP complete okay to the K click problem. So what is 3 CNF? So 3 CNF is a circuit satisfiability problem okay. So where you have K clauses like this. So there is a formula phi which is C1 and C2 and C3 and till CK. So there are K clauses and in each clause there are three literals which are all odd with each other okay so these c1 c2 so they are of the form l1 r odd with l2 r odd with l3 r okay so this is something like so we will show you one instance so phi is x1 x2 x3 are there so it is odd inside each clause so this is c1 this is c2 this is c3 so inside the clause three literals are there which are odd so this is or this is and so these are odd this is the not x1 or x2 bar or x3 bar. This is one clause ended with x1 bar or with x2 or with x3 ended with x1 or x2 or x3. Okay. So this is there. So now I need to transform this problem into problem of k click. So now this looks very difficult. Okay. So this is a graph. This is a circuit problem and you are saying that, okay, transform it into a k click problem which means that this k click is a black box which takes input as a graph okay it takes some vertices and edges and then it will tell you what is the size of the maximum is does it contain a it's a decision problem does it contain a click of size k or not okay it will tell you that now this black box now you are saying that okay i have a function phi of boolean variables like this three sat problem okay three cnf problem and now you have to solve this problem using this so how will we do so this means i have to convert this phi the function into some graph and give this input and then ask that does it have a k click and then you transform that output of yes no to tell that okay is this circuit satisfiable or not okay so this is there so i take this 3 cnf form with k clauses okay so like here k is equal to 3 these are the clauses the ended things so it has k clauses so now i say i transform it into a graph I have to transform it into some graph so that it can become an input for k click problem then I will ask that does this graph has a k click yes then it means this problem this can be satisfied this circuit can be satisfied means there are some values of x1 x2 x3 such that this phi will become 1 if so this there is a k click this will have a satisfied value it will can be 1 if there is no k click of size k then there is no satisfiable value for this okay so what is the transformation like and your transformation should be polynomial time so what we do so we have k clauses like this for each clause 
so it has three ors so we have clause is cr then it has l1r odd with l2 odd odd with l3r we place the triple okay and corresponding to these literals in a clause we make three triples okay so three vertices are made v1r v2r v3r in the graph okay and like this so for each of the literals we make three three vertices uh, okay so one vertices so for one clause we have three vertices and when how we put edges in the graph between the literals or the vertices so vir belongs to is a literal which belongs to clause r vjs is a literal which belongs to clause s okay and this i and j can be from 1 to 3 so there is an edge between the vertices vir and vjs if they are in different triple or they are in different clauses so r is not equal to s and there should be edge only when they are consistent that means lir is not negation of the other one so let's try to see so this will be clear here so we have function x1 or x2 bar or x3 bar this is ended with x1 or x2 or x3 ended with x1 so there are three clauses okay so number of clauses is k is equal to 3 so i have these as vertices so x1 here x2 bar here x3 bar here so these are now in one clause is this second clause is x1 bar x2 and x3 here third clause is x1 x2 x3 here now i make edges so let's say with x1 where will be the edges x1 will have no edges among its own three triples up, up on its own clause so it's not connected here no edge because of this rule that r should not be equal to s then we connect with all other nodes in different clauses but the only thing is it should not be connected to x1 should not be connected to x1 bar so it's not connected here it's connected to x2 x3 x1 x2 x3 x2 bar so it's not connected anywhere here but it's connected to x1 bar it's not connected to x2 because x2 is negation of x2 bar so it's connected to x3 x1 x2 is not connected again and x3 is connected if we see here this one so x3 is connected not connected anywhere in its clause it's connected to x3 x2 x1 bar x1 bar x2 bar but not x3 bar okay so this is there so i make a graph like this and again you can see this can be done in polynomial time so this reduction is polynomial time but now i have to say that okay this graph okay so now i have to tell you that okay this transformation is there so now this problem okay decision problem does this function boolean function has can be satisfied can it have a value one so this will depend i transform this into the graph problem and this graph if it has a click of size k okay it, this has k literals where k is 3 now so if this graph gv that we have constructed if it has a click of size k then it can be satisfied and other we also we have to conversely prove that if this graph has a lit click of size k then this has you know, this can be satisfied so let's try to prove why so let's try to see so we have phi has a satisfying argument if g has a click of size k and we have to prove vice versa so if g has a click of size k then phi has a satisfying argument why so let's come here so let's assume now that this has a satisfying argument this phi which means it becomes one sometimes when it will become one it has k clauses which are all ended like c1 c2 c3 till ck okay it means among all these k clauses which inside have three literals all of them should have at least one of the literals as one okay so one of these literals are one so in among all these triples okay so we have three triples here and in a generally we will have k triples here so one of them will be one in each one of them and then based on our edges there will be each of one will have one such vertices okay which will be value one 
now we also say that we have connected edges such that literals in different clauses are connected and no negations are connected so now if in each one of them there are if phi is one then in each one of them one vertice is one okay and they must be connected okay because i have connected each vertices of one triple with other vertices unless they are negations of each other so we have not connected connected negations why because if x1 and x bar are connected in each one of them then if x1 is one x1 bar can never be one so this is not the case here so if let's say we make x1 as one here okay and x2 is one here and x3 is one here okay then what does it mean so x1 this is one x2 is one and x3 is one so this you will see that this they are all will be connected this x1 x2 x3 and x3 to x1 so this is forming a click of size 3 so if this is satisfied then it will have a click of size 3 because there are three clauses okay so this is proved okay because each of them will be connected and to each other because of our rule of making edges and hence if this is satisfied then this graph will have a click of size 3 or in general k now let's assume the other way let's assume that we have a click of size k so here if we have a click of size 3 then what will happen you can make all these ones and if you make all these ones then what will happen because they are not negations of each other there will be no problem and each of them belong to different literals okay so we have click is there it means there are no edges between triples in the same clause okay so they are in different clauses and now if we make them one okay all of them one then five will be one okay and because they are not negation so there is no problem this is a satisfying argument so this proves that okay that this transformation is correct okay and if phi has a satisfying argument then this has a click of size k and if this has a click of size k then your phi will have a satisfying argument so i hope you understand this thanks a lot